Dude, give it up, give it up right now. Hey, sir, how's it going? How you doing? If you need any help, thanks for getting here so quickly, officer. Hello, everybody, and welcome to LSPFR episode 6 here today. And as you may notice, we are here out in the county. We are actually in the Harmony at the moment. And the snow has rolled in. It's about time, too. I mean, it's... For me, recording this episode, it is the 10th of December. So, we're pretty much quite of the way into December, and there should be snow. So, we're also rolling with the Los Santos Sheriff's Department. Even though we're using a Blank County Sheriff's Expedition Vehicle, which, by the way, was released by Big G069 this week. Uh, I think it was either this week or last week. Uh, I will link it in the description below. I'm still working on the LSPDFR Mars list that I'm currently doing. I'm probably going to wait till after the Kyle Perico heist is released. So that way I can get everything set back up properly and whatnot. So we'll see how that goes. But we are here with the Los Santos Sheriff's Department in a Blaine County Sheriff's Office vehicle. Which is perfectly fine with me. But this pack is really good. Um, I've experienced a few texture losses here and there with the expedition. If any occur... I will make note of it, I will try and keep it out of the video for you guys, so that way it doesn't impede with any of the video or anything, so, and let's, with that being said, let's go ahead, get in our vehicle, and this is the vehicle, this is a expedition, I believe it's a 2014 expedition, I don't remember exactly what chick for you, but this, this, this is the light staging, here is the traffic lights, stage 2. Got a little bit there on the top of the light bar. And some front there on the man bar as well. And then full stage 3. It's actually a really good vehicle in my opinion. It's got the side runners there on the side of the vehicle. And even the back lights flash as well, which is really cool in my opinion. So with that being said, let's go ahead and show ourselves 10 8 available for calls. To David Twain Dispatch. Show me tonight. Roger, two, David, twenty. Proceed with patrol. All units, suspect last seen in the Redwood Light. Alrighty, so we got a uh, suspect, a wanted suspect on the run. Last seen in the Redwood Lights racetrack. That's gonna be in our general jurisdiction area, so we're gonna be responding code 2 there. They want us to respond code 3. But for right now, I'm gonna be responding code 2. This is the actual road right here. It's kind of hard to see dirt roads with the snow on, so. And the snow, by the way, is not the base snow. I am using Natural Vision Evolved, so that's why it looks completely different for you guys, so. It definitely looks a lot better. And NVE is, I believe, what, 12 bucks on Patreon for raised? You know, and since we're in the expedition, let's go ahead and do a little bit of our voting here and get there just a little bit quicker. So, we're arriving on scene here in the Redwood Lights racetrack. You gonna let us in? Ocean one. No, you're not. Oh, nope, they're on the run, they're on the run. Alright, cool. We've got a motor vehicle accident. They're on the run, they're gonna be heading westbound. There they are, there they are. God damn it. He tried to get into the vehicle and I tried to chase him. We got one running, one running. Dude, stop, dude, stop. It's not worth it, not worth it, damn it. This is the LSPD, give it up, dude. Give it up, we got one units. That's exactly what I'm talking about right there. You guys are gonna see North Yankton vehicles, so I do apologize for that. Got a foot pursuit, we're heading southbound now on Sonora Road, near Sonora Road on a dirt road. Oh, damn, this dude is fast. Come on, dude, it don't, it's not worth it, it's not worth it. I got my pistol out, so damn. Oh, nope, come on. Damn it, I missed a taser. I missed a taser. Shit, we need more units over here. And there's another North Yankton vehicle. Come on, dude, stop. Just stop with it. Don't even steal a vehicle. If you steal a vehicle, I swear to God. Dispatch, they're in a car. The suspect has crashed. 
Dude, give it up. Give it up right now. Get the hell out of the vehicle right now. Watch the cars. Watch the cars. Dude, don't you dare run. Those two are just sitting there. They're probably on a traffic stop with this guy. Yeah, there's a lot of North Yankee vehicles. I do apologize about that, guys. Like I said, I had to go into the default region to make sure everything was removed. So, alright. You going down for a long time, damn right. Yeah, you'll see a few North Yankton vehicles here and there, so I do apologize, guys. Please don't let me over. And that's another UK siren. That is lovely. Where is our vehicle? All the way back over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy back over to our vehicle, and we'll see you when we get there. Alrighty, so we're finally back at our vehicle here. Let's go ahead and... Put him right there. Go ahead and kneel down for me, bud. Okay. Go ahead and move the vehicle to the side of the road here so we can actually do a little more. It says press Y to open the interaction menu, so I'm gonna see what that's all about. I do have new callouts installed, so let's go ahead and hit Y. Oh, it's just go ahead and speak with him. It's gonna be Chris Styles. Why did you run? It just makes the situation worse, man. Man, I don't know. I just want to get to the slammer. Didn't want to go back to the slammer. I understand that, but evading is a whole new charge, and that will make things even worse. I know, do like to go back now, though. Alrighty then. So that's. I guess that's why he ran. I mean, I don't know. So, alrighty. So you uh, let's go ahead and ask him if he's got anything illegal on you. Anything illegal on you? Perhaps you have some? Okay. So, we're gonna pat him down here and see if he has anything on him. See if there's anything of importance or not. We'll find out here in a moment. Alright, so nothing of importance. A citation ticket. So, it's gonna be a Chris Styles. To David 20, dispatch. 10-4, copy. Requesting 10-27. Alright, so it's gonna be Chris Styles 12 22 1954. That is very old. And he got an outstanding warrant, so that would be the reason why he ran. He has an outstanding warrant. He was wanted by the Blaine County Sheriff's Office, so we're gonna go ahead and get a person to transport out here for him. Required in, uh, and we'll get his charges Grande written up here Desert. as well. I do have CompuLite installed, so. We'll be able to do that. Chris Styles is gonna be arrest warrant for disorderly conduct. So we're gonna be get he's gonna be getting a little bit more than that. It's gonna be traffic down here. Traffic. Yeah. Is. Moving violations gonna be evading and looting arrest. It's we're gonna get him with attempted uh Grand Theft Auto. So possession stolen properly properly? Property. It's gonna be possession of a stolen automobile because he did take that tax. Technically speaking, and I shot at him. He's lucky I didn't kill him. Well, let's go ahead and oh yeah, he's got the one as well. He's got the. I don't even remember what the warrant was for. Misdemeanor disorderly conduct. Disorderly conduct. Let's see if we can. Uh, Find that here, disorderly conduct. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, anytime. This one, maybe it might be city. No, it's not in here. So I think we're just gonna go and let that go for now and open the action menu and submit those charges. So it's gonna be only evading, eluding arrest, and possession of a stolen automobile. Alright, so that's pretty much gonna be that call out done, that whole scenario gone. So let's see what else we can get into. Citizens report a motor vehicle accident. Alright, so we got a motor vehicle accident here. We would just saw off that scene too. Well, let's go ahead and respawn code 2 to this motor vehicle accident. The car has been reportedly stalled. 
looks like it's gonna be down here. But I know we're out of the general harmony area. We'll get back there soon, so... We got a few calls that are outside the harmony area that we can respond to. And like on the dirt roads like this one right here, we can respond to this one. See if we can help these individuals. See what's going on. Is the reportedly the car is broken down, and I think it was a motor vehicle accident or something. I don't remember. I forget easily with some things, so find out what's going on here. Uh, yeah, looks to be a walk up beside the vehicle, then approach when ready. Yep, you got it. Hey, sir, how's it going? How you doing? You gonna need any help? Thanks for getting here so quickly, officer. No problem, what's the really issue? Just stopped in the middle of the road, no warning, and it just died. Wow, that's, that's bad luck, man, yeah. You're in a very dangerous spot, we have to move your vehicle as soon as possible. I know, I have no idea what's wrong with it. I've tried restarting the engine, but it never works. Gonna call the tow truck, yeah, we'll get the tow truck out there for you, bud. Yep. Go ahead and, uh, walk, actually, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up! Hold on. I wanna get your ID. And make sure you're all clear. And your palms are sweaty too, so... Thank we're gonna check that out as well and see if you're under the influence or anything. Because if you are under the influence, you're gonna be getting... DUI? Because I believe he was driving this vehicle, because he was on the dirt road. So yeah, that's gonna be DUI. So let's go ahead and get a... Pet check. I can't, I'm not even gonna pronounce that name. 910-1996. I mean, valid, non... So, real quick, we are gonna go ahead and... Nope, not that one. Do a... breathalyzer test on him real quick and see if he's been drinking at all. Just make sure. Thank you. Thank you. Unable to provide the valid birth sample, so we're gonna assume that he is indeed DUI. We're also gonna do a drug swap test as well. And see if he comes positive for anything. Thank you. Thank you. Positive cocaine and methamphetamine. Okay, so at this time you're gonna be you placed under arrest for arrest. DUI. If you got anything that's gonna poke me, stick me, pop me, blow my ass up, or anything like that, please let me know right now, and I'm gonna pat the two down and see if there is anything on you. Bag of unmarked pills and PCP. Alright, well, that's gonna be marked down for whatever we get the narcotics test back for. Let's go ahead and get the narcotics test run here. Go ahead, evidence check, narcotics field test on the unmarked pills, I believe. Yep. And let's try fentanyl. Negative on the fentanyl, so let's try LSD. Negative on the LSD, what about MDMA? Negative on that, so it's gonna be PCP. Negative on PCP, really? Negative on all of these? Wow! Alrighty then, so I guess we don't know what these are. It's gotta be one of them, we, I just don't know which one exactly. And we're also gonna search the vehicle here real quick. And get a plate check on it as well. In fact, let's do that real quick on the Delante. It's gonna be 82 C... CSN579. It's not even registered in, I think. Target is 10 so, let's go ahead and search the vehicle. Well, he's got the PCP, we're gonna be getting him for that, as well as the UI. Doll bill covered in powder and a chainsaw. We're we gonna see if we can figure anything up out about that dollar bill. Alright. Again, back to another colleague's field test, and see if we can get this dollar bill in powder. Uh, let's try heroin first and see. Positive for heroin, so he's gonna be getting PCP and heroin. I don't know what the other one would be, so we're gonna leave him on that one, and we're gonna get a tow truck out here for this. 
Go ahead and request a small tow truck since it is a dirt road. Tow truck assistance required in Grande Sonora. I don't even know have that. Nope, they took it immediately. So let's go ahead and get his record. Uh, no, I don't want to tow the sheriff vehicle. Let's get his record here. Yeah, it's not even registered there. Him, so create a rest report. We're gonna mark that as a stolen vehicle. Then it's gonna be possession of PCP. We have that schedule two. Yep, and DUI as well. So that would be traffic crimes, DUI, driving under the influence. And we should also to take breathalyzer test as well. Let's go ahead and submit those charges. And let's get a prisoner transport out here for him. There we go. Yeah, hands are shaking. I know. In Grande Sonora Desert. Your mom is in the transport, you can figure it out. There they go. Looks like they're also using the expert. Oh, come on, you just had it. Yeah, it looks like they're using the expedition as well. Yep, there you go, come on. You're almost here. You can do it. And there you go. So, we're gonna take him and... Hi. Hi, how's it going? How you doing, Charlotte? Doing well? Great. Asshole. Asshole. Alright, so... That's pretty much gonna be that for that call as well. And we're gonna be back tonight. Uh, you wanna ride his ass anymore, really, dude? Like, I get he's going super slow, but you really can't be that close to him. So let's go ahead and get this guy... ...pulled right on over and figure out what's going on with him. And you're gonna go... Uh, I was about to say, don't do it, but Do not go around... You're trying to go around him, huh? You're trying to. Come on, dude, what are you doing? Yep, you just went around him, so that's gonna be a moving violation as well. So let's go ahead and get him stopped here. Come on, dude, just stop. Just stop. Thank you. Let's get a vehicle check on him. We have Fugitive. It's gonna be 28 SV. 28 Sam Victor Sam 860. Sorry. Target is Adam Wayne. Zero citation, zero on everything, so... Let's go ahead and get out and have a chat with him, see why he was following too closely to that truck. Hello, sir, how you doing today? Uh, you know why I pulled you over today? Why'd you stop before? Well, I stopped you because you were following too closely, so... If I could have your registration proof of insurance of the vehicle, that'd be great. Alrighty. Mr. Wayne, just... 
Hang tight with me, we're gonna get a pet check on you and see. It's gonna be an Adam Wayne, 11, 10, 78. Valid none. So, go ahead and. I think we're gonna leave him off of the purple one because we're not. I mean, he was falling closely, yeah, but. We're just gonna leave him off of a verbal warning. Go on, you idiot! Get out of here! Go on, you idiot! Get out of here! Yeah, we're gonna leave him. Simple traffic stop, you know. Nothing too major or anything like that. I just wanted to see what was going on with him. Alright, so, we're gonna be back to name. Alright, so we got. A call out here. That we're gonna be responding to is the ambient AI call. Unit Adam Six is requesting immediate. Oh, and there goes the, there goes all those people. Hard. Lovely. All right. Well, I guess that's gonna. Yeah, we're pretty much at least. Yeah, we're pretty much off duty and everything now. So. I think that's gonna pretty much call it for this episode of LSPFR, guys. Not much really did happen, but again, LSPFR has a lot to offer and everything, but there are certain things that I would prefer to happen when other things happen instead. So, if you haven't already, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, all that sort of fun stuff. Today was more of a casual patrol than really anything else. I think the only major thing that happened was shooting at that person in the taxi. Like, that was not intentional at all. But LSP for a crashing like this, it, it's bound to happen. So, that's pretty much gonna call it for this episode of LSP for. So, until next time, guys, have fun, stay safe. Whatever time it is you're, you're watching this, good morning, good evening, good night, whatever. Until next time, guys, stay safe, have fun.